Hi, fifth grade. Hope everybody is doing well. Today, we are going to be talking about our artistic heritage. And we're going to focus on a specific master artist today named Diego Rivera. So you may be familiar with Diego Rivera's work already. We looked a little bit at his work when you were in grade three, when we learned about Frida Kahlo, uh, who was the famous self-portrait artist that we used as a master artist then. Uh, Diego Rivera, also from Mexico, was best known for his large-scale murals that he created, uh, but he also created a lot of paintings that focused on his artistic heritage. So if we take a look at this painting, for example, which is called Flower Festival, um, you will see bright, bold colors. And a lot of times what he is doing is capturing specific moments throughout his artistic heritage, showing traditions, showing the culture, showing the people around him. Um, and we see a lot of that throughout his work. So he's a great person for us to look at today. So everyone remembers things from the past, right? Uh, you may remember places you visited or clothes you wore or maybe food that you ate. Maybe you have an aunt or an uncle who makes a specific dessert that you really, really love. This is all part of your heritage, okay? Um, when we think of the past, we recognize traditions that we hope will continue every year um, and things that we wish maybe would change as well. Um, artworks like this one, which is called The Weaver, also by Diego Rivera, they can t actually teach us about the past. For example, the woman in this painting is weaving on a loom. That's not something that we would see today, you know, walking around. But in the past, that might be something that people would see just walking around their town. Um, artists look f um, at paintings of the past to kind of help us learn a little bit about what the past was like. We also look at artwork to learn about what other cultures are like as well around the world um, and within our own country um, too. So today we're actually going to pick a topic that talks a little bit about your artistic heritage. Something maybe that is unique to your family or maybe unique to your culture um, that can express a little bit about who you are. It can be a tradition, something you do every year, or even it can be something that you hope for the future. You're going to kind of create a narrative that tells a little bit of a story about your artistic heritage. So your topic will be up to you. You will pick it and we will use some of the figure drawing skills that we've been creating, building week to week uh, to create this drawing. So you'll need your sketchbook, a pencil and your colored pencils. Okay guys, so before you start this drawing, you probably are gonna need to do a little bit of brainstorming as far as what your subject is going to be when we talk about artistic heritage. Like what are you going to draw that's going to tell a little bit about you or your family traditions or your culture. So come up with a few ideas before you start. For me, for example, um, something that is a family tradition for my family is parades. We always go to parades, bring our lawn chairs, you know, we'll watch everybody walk by. It's just a big fun day. Um, I'm actually Irish and my culture, uh, something that we do a lot on St. Patrick's Day, um, we have like a big meal. So that's something I could do. My whole family comes. We have the same food every year. You know, everybody dresses up in green. So that's a possibility for my subject matter. Um, and, oh, and the last thing, you know, I would say, and this is going to seem a little strange, but um, we always have a front porch no matter what house I live in. And that is like a gathering spot for my family. So we like to sit out there and just talk, especially in the summer, uh, you know, at night, we'll sit outside and just enjoy the porch and, and the nice weather. So, um, of these three things, I think I might go with 
St. Patrick's Day just because there's a lot more I can do and, and think of like right off the bat um, when it comes to food and people and color and things like that. So I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to start off just by drawing some things out. So uh, for me, and I'm drawing with a marker so you guys can see a little bit better, I would probably start off with a big table and I'm going to sketch everything out. Since the table is coming closer to me, I'm going to make it get bigger um, and then kind of come up with, you know, where the things, the, the plates would be on the table. I'm going to try to use a little bit of depth here and get things looking smaller as they're moving away. And then I would probably start to sketch out, you know, my people, my family, um, who's where at the table. Um, and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start to just sketch everything out um, and then I'll add color and then we'll meet back. Okay, fifth grade, so here is my final drawing. Notice I kept this very sketchy this week. I think probably because I started with a, a Sharpie marker and then I couldn't erase. So I kept my lines very, very sketchy, uh, which is totally okay. I still drew for 30 minutes. So this week, in order to get a perfect score of a three, I should be able to look at your drawing and tell a little bit about something um, that has to do with your artistic heritage, a tradition in your family, uh, something from your culture, something that really tells the viewer about who you are as a person. So I am looking forward to seeing a little bit about your artistic heritage and remember to upload your photo and I will see you next week. Have a great day.